Are your pets prepped in case of an emergency? <laughs> Hello guys, today we are talking about prepping for pets. So I kind of thought this was common sense, <laughs> but we keep getting people asking and asking over and over about it. So we're gonna talk about prepping, stockpiling for your pets. This really isn't that hard. hard I think you're making it more complicated than it actually needs to be mm -hmm. because basically all you need to do is make sure they have food, their leash, if they're on medications and that's it. Yeah. I uh, mean carrier for the cats, the cats. whatever animals. Yeah. Um, now first of all you have I know a lot of people are going to get mad at me about this but if there's a true emergency situation you have to remember if you're evacuating or whatever if it's imminent and you have to get out now human lives are worth more than animal lives. I'm sorry. We love our pets too. We love them to death. Buster, we but... love Buster and we would do anything to try and save him, mm -hmm. but we wouldn't do anything to risk our lives to save him. Yeah. And so you have to keep that perspective. I'm really sorry. I know some of you are really close to your pets and I get that, but you have to keep that in perspective. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you gonna do? Our stockpile cookbook, we have a whole list of things in there totally free in the description below that you can go get. Add to the list. We have 125 things to prep for. Add to the list dog and cat food, whatever, mm -hmm. durable food, goldfish well, food, whatever. Basically what they need on a, like what we plan for ourselves, yeah. you plan for the animals, what you need mm -hmm. on a daily basis yeah. or you're gonna need in an emergency. And it, it's like Tara said, it is pretty simple for the pits. You Now, one thing I might do different is in my car, I keep an emergency supply, and if I had a cat or a dog, I would get a harness mm -hmm. leash thing and keep in, yep. at least keep that in the car yep. because those ki cats and dogs will pull out of their mm -hmm. co collars with a yep. leash. Leash, a carrier. I thought, okay, see, this is how I think things through. I had a cat and I had a cat carrier, but I thought, what if I can't? The door mm -hmm. I had to go to. What if I can't get the carrier fast enough and get her in the carrier? I saw a pillow on the bed and I thought, I will yank that pillow out of the, the pillowcase off the pillow and I will throw the cat into the pillowcase. <laughs> I mean, it for yeah, just a few moments, it'll be moments, fine, it'll be fine it to out. carry it out. And I'd rather yeah. have her suffer a little bit the like that. The cat might carry you out. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, in emergency, you do things like yeah. this. But a you, laundry basket with a, a sheet over the A laundry basket, top. yeah, anything mm -hmm. that's a, a anything that's a container <clears throat> throw them in the box or you know try trash to trash can something yeah. like that just and, get them out and think it's more of a thinking through of what you're going to need than what you actually have mm -hmm. to have yeah. you know that type but of thing definitely make sure you have a harness harness so they don't escape from Pull the their collars. collars yeah yeah and do that and then just it's, stock up on however much food you need and have yeah. your try to have your pets chipped if you can yeah. now that really helps mm -hmm. now because they can track you know mm -hmm. they do that a lot during emergency and just have yeah. you'll have water for yourself so you'll have water for your pets mm -hmm. you'll have you know yeah the and for stockpiling i mean stockpile as much food three six months a year's worth of food however much just you like want you would for you but don't forget Pets can eat leftover food. Yeah. And you may say, well, my Fluffy would never eat <laughs> whatever. Well, Fluffy will fluffy eat it when you you have Fluffy gets start. hungry. <laughs> and so if you can't afford six months to a year's worth of pet food, just remember they can eat they leftovers. Can eat, yeah. They can eat the rotten food. Their stomachs can handle those things better than ours and can. And the rice that you have stockpiled yeah. for you, I my dog for uh, when he would become ill, I would just crumble a little cheese, a little yeah. uh, hamburger in that. You could do canned tuna or a can mm -hmm. that, and you wouldn't have to give them all the meat. But if you put a little bit in the rice that you cook for them, they will eat that very easily. So most of your, if you're prepping, you're stockpiling a lot of rice for yourself. That works great for your pets. Yep. And then, um, of course, if it's winter time and your dog need, doesn't have a heavy fur coat, keep their sweater or coat or whatever doggy coat you have. Mm -hmm. Keep all that nearby. Keep all those things on your emergency evacuation list. So you can know to grab them. I would keep an extra set of everything with your evacuation stuff so that you can always have it. But even something like that, think out of the box. What if I don't, if I forget their little 
coat or whatever. You could wrap a scarf around them and tie it around uh, with a string or something, tie a coat around in an emergency or something like that. Or so, hand towel or something yeah, like that. Or hand need, yeah, or hand towel, whatever you need. You can do things like that. You you have to start thinking out of the box and how can I make do, you know, yeah. for the pets and yourself both for that yeah. matter. All right, guys, go check out our 15 things to buy before hyperinflation hits. Visit us at livingonadime.com to get that free stockpile ebook. It's in the description below and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.